Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, this video is going to be introductory researching. It's part of Complete Beginner. I think it's going to be an easy video, guys. So, I already reset it. Let's get right into it. Let me close this off. As you know, guys, uh, these videos, I'm going to show you how to answer your questions. I strongly recommend reading through each task so you get a full understanding. All right. Looks like try having me do have a video. Just follow along, guys. Uh, introductory researching, a brief introduction to research skills for pen. So let's go to task one, introduction, answer the questions below, read the introduction, and it says no, answer don't write up submitted for this rule will not be accepted. The aim of the questions is to encourage research, answer dumps do nothing other than invalid the point of the room and are strongly condemned it. So like that. Let's go to task two, example, the research question. So you follow along, it just talks about using Google and GitHub. So let's go right into answer questions below. In the Burst Suite program that ships with Kali Linux, what mode we use to manually request, manually send requests, often repeating a capture request in rule times and then question hint says search for manually and request soup all right so you google did it and you can tell it looks like it's repeater so let's type it in awesome next question what happened our modern Windows login, passwords stored in, hint. Search for hashing algorithm for Windows. Right click, close this off. And it says some of the most commonly used hashing algorithms are SHA-256 and PBKDF2. Let's uh, try this one. Hashing formats. Would be shot two fifty six. That Windows, right? So hashing algorithm, Landman. So it says it uses NTOM. That looks kind of correct because you can tell there's four NTOM. All right. So yeah, you just need to yeah look for how should on MD4 and TOM. So let's close this off. Next question, what are automated tasks called in Linux? Hint, search for automated tasks Linux. <clears throat> Pre-configure how to automate automation crane jobs let's see let's try it out is it crane jobs crane jobs yep so just looking for crane jobs crane tab crane jobs yeah next question what number base could you use as a shorthand for base to binary. So octo base eight is not the correct answer. What we can do is highlight this and Google. Let's close this off. And the first thing it says, hexadecimal use extensively shorthand binary because it is base 16 with 16 being power of two. So that's it, base 16. That was easy. And it says, if a password hash start with money sign, six money sign, what format is it in Unix variant? 
and it gives you a hint something cry so again you can highlight google so if a hash start with most unique see six cryptic so SHA-512 and it says crib maybe it's this one there you go task to complete all right let's go to task three vulnerability searching so it talks about exploit db in db cv mitr so these are just a website to look for vulnerabilities and it says answer your questions below what is the cve for 2020 cross-site scripting x ss vulnerability found in wp forms so let's right click the first one exploit db and this talks about 2020 wp forms let's try it wp form and it talks about 2020 right let's see cross-site vulnerability maybe it's this one let's try it Let's try it. Let's try that one. CVE. Oh, that's not it. This one. WP forms. C C not available. Interesting. Twenty twenty cross site scripting board. Did I put right, WP four? Not available. Interesting. Oops. Sorry, I put the wrong. Let's try again. Might be right. Okay, yeah. Next question. There was a local privilege escalation vulnerability found the Debian version of Apache Tomcat back in 2016. What is the CVE for this vulnerability? So I'm going to type Tomcat. And it talks about 2016 Debian, right? Maybe it's this one. Yeah, there you go. For sure. Next question What is the very first CVE found in VLC Media Player? So, I'm going to try VLC. And date 2007. CVE. Perfect. Last question. If you want to exploit 2020 buffer overflow in the pseudo program, which CVE we use? So, overflow. Oops. 2020. Pseudo.
Maybe it's this one. Two nine two nine two three eight two nine so two nine two three oh nope, that's not it but maybe it is Awesome. Task four, manual page. Okay. It talks about Linux fundamentals. So this might be foreign. You haven't done the fundamentals. So I strongly recommend to go to the Linux module, which I already did. So answer your questions below. SCP is a tool used to copy files from one computer to another. Which switch we use to copy entire directory hint manual scp so there's manual ssh let's try this you can start the attack box but there you go manual All right, so we can go to one of the Linux website and I just go to the first one. So this is the command for manual SCP and tells you all the synopsis, which is shorthand of the directory. So it's talking about copy files from one computer to another. If you read it, it says dash C cipher dash F is SH config dash I is identify dash P is port. So it talks about the options. And if you read through it, I believe it's R, right? So there you go. So dash R is recursively copy entire directories. So I believe it's dash R, right? Yeah. Then it says, next question, F this is a command used to view and alter the partitioning scheme used on your hard drive, which, which switch will you use to list the current partition? That's pretty easy. I'm pretty sure this dash L. That should be at limit. Yes, I. I'm pretty sure it's that show because I know you're familiar with Linux commands. It, you get it right away. So Nano is an easy to use text editor for Linux. There are arguably better editors. Vim being the obvious choice. However, Nano is a great one to start with. What switch we use to make backup copy when opening a file Nano? 
see the keywords back up, I believe is dash B, but let me see who they have. Batch mode. I'm pretty sure it's shorthand for B. I'm just going through. Back, 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 back. Backup manager, backup D. Let's try this one. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's back. Yeah. Some of them are simple. I mean, you can also look at this, you know, examples. SSH. V display. So the last one says Netcat is a basic tool used to manually send and receive network requests. What command will you use to start with Netcat in listen mode using port 12345? So, hint, you will need two switches here. Read the manual page to find shorthand for Netcat as well as two switches you'll need. So, let's try. This one. It's a force ball ball limit. Anyways, so if you get better at, once you get better at Linux, so you can read through this. So it says netcat, right? So it's going to be NC in listen mode. So it's going to be L using port. So it's going to be port 345, things like this. Yeah, there you go. So netcat nc listening mode dash l using port dash p one two three four five yeah and last one task five final dots it says a summary and answer the questions below read search complete that's again pretty easy once you finish your share on Twitter Facebook and LinkedIn and if you like this video guy please give a thumbs up hit the subscribe button hit the notification button and uh, I am slowly pumping these videos out for you guys um and yeah hit the subscribe button and just letting you know guys that i just finished my cloud central it's just for fun of it i like doing this just you know a couple days ago so yeah anyways guys uh thanks for watching till next time